Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be uh, filming the Q&A. So I have pulled up here on my video all of the comments. Um, and I'm just literally going to go down one by one and answer every single thing on here. I apologize in advance if this video is lengthy, but I want to make sure I'm like hitting every topic. Um, and these are some really good questions, so kudos to you guys. Okay, this one is from Heidi HeidiGBaby91. Um, she says she's been in school since June, and her videos have been super helpful. Oh, thank you. Um, I did have some questions about the makeup. Did you have to pay extra to spend more time learning makeup, and is the only way through the school to become a licensed makeup artist? Also, the What I Wear to School video is a great idea. Looking forward to it. Yes, I'm definitely filming that, so look out for that. Um, so basically the question is, do I have to pay extra to spend more time learning makeup, and is that the only way through the school to become licensed? So in my school in Florida, um, the way to get your, we get a makeup certification, and that is with Ultimate Face Cosmetics, that is who Paul Mitchell, Paul Mitchell partners with at my school. Um, and yes, you do have to pay extra money. You are taking 100 extra hours, so you have to pay for those 100 hours that you were there, as well as your kit. So it is more expensive. And as far as I know at my school, that is the only way you can become a certified makeup artist. In the state of Florida, I know for a fact that you don't have to be certified or have any sort of license to um, like do makeup and receive a profit for it, which if you think about it, that's kind of scary, but technically you don't have to. So if you can build a business on your own, you really don't need to be licensed. Um, however, I would say that getting your certification with like certain brands will allow you to do certain things. For instance, in the state of Texas, they like pass this law that if you want to do any makeup on set, you have to have your ultimate face cosmetics license. And that's just simply because this brand goes into sanitation and things like that, that, um, you might not really think about, um, skin diseases, things like that, that you need to be aware of. So I would definitely suggest doing it. And if your school has a different program, like maybe Co-Cosmetics, I know they used to do that. Um, they're all really great programs. So I definitely would suggest doing it. But yes, you pay more. Can you explain? Okay, so Haley Hedges says, can you explain the clubs that you are in? Like exactly what you do while in the clubs? Which clubs are you in? And how do you sign up? So, okay, um, from what I can recall, we have a take-home team, be nice or else, student council, design team, pet club, and phase two. I am in all of them except for pet club. Um, okay. okay, so be nice or else, basically for my school, um, all of that takes place in school. So everything that we do is in school. We're going to be part of um, doing a huge kickoff for the fundraising campaign in 2016. So that is some pursuit, something super exciting. We also are responsible for a lot of the fundraising we do every month, the be nice or else team. Um, so we help facilitate events like that and spread positivity throughout the school. Um, then we have the take home team, which that is super fun. Basically what we do is number one, anything with caper that team helped out with. So I wasn't able to join that when they did like the big caper kickoff cause I was still in protege and makeup. But when they do the caper kickoff, take home team does that and like they did like a big skit for us. And then also we do classes for the core class. So we have people come in and do like a product knowledge class with us and we will like do doll babies and I don't know, teach the core about products. So that's what we do in take home. And we have student council, which right now we have like a switch in learning leader. So we're kind of switching out that student council, but we also do fundraising, um, we're supposed to like throw parties for the holidays. Like there's there's like on the website, um, on Paul Mitchell Plugged In, which you can get in once you are a student, it goes through every single club and what it does in the roles and responsibilities. And so you can go and look, but I'm just telling you what we do at school. Um, so we're supposed to be doing more in that, but right now we're switching learning leaders. So honestly, we don't do that much. And then phase two, which I'm sure you guys know is the honors program. Um, so you hold your certain requirements and stuff like that then pet club from what I've seen they do like fundraisers and like donate things to pet shelters and promote our pet products and stuff like that um a lot of it is really chill oh the design team the design team super fun we get to go and do um like events and stuff off campus and um you know if we're doing fashion shows we're going to be a part of that so we do fun things like that um you know go to high schools help their like theaters 
uh, with hair and makeup stuff like that it's like off campus work so like getting in touch with the real world and for my school you have to be in creative for that so how do you join because that was one of the questions too um basically once you are in adaptive at my school i don't know if this is for all schools i'm assuming um once you're in adaptive you can join all you have to do is go up to the learning leader um they announce every week what time the meetings are and just go to a meeting and sign up that way and make sure you go to the meetings weekly and that's about it most of the stuff you do during school sometimes the meetings are after school but it's maybe like 10 minutes so everything usually takes place on school ends like school time except for design team and then okay so laurel dubrock oh i really hope i didn't butcher that um she's like can you please talk about your caper experience some of the outfits you wore to school can you also use the okay caper experience i have filmed that i actually just came back from caper so i filmed that and a video is coming very shortly i'm very excited to put together so stay tuned some of the outfits i wore to school also stay tuned and can you use your iPad for personal use and do you keep it? Yeah, you keep your iPad. It's yours. They gave it to you. They gave it to you in your kit. Your kit is yours. iPad's yours. Take it. Um, can you use it for personal use? I mean, technically, you're not supposed to, like, have your iMessaging on at school and stuff because it messes with the Wi-Fi, but no one really knows. Also, once you're on the floor, do you have a client in every day? That seems stressful. Sorry for all the questions. Oh, don't. I love it. I wish I had somebody I could have asked these questions to. Um, do I have a client every day? It depends on your area. I'm in a mall. We get a lot of walk-ins. So there are days that are like weeks where I had a client every day, Saturdays where I have them two or three. Um, no, you probably won't have one every day unless you are booking people and bringing them in yourself, which I would very like suggest doing. Like go out and find people, bring them in, um, and book them. But you're probably not going to get a walk-in or like have some random person booked with you every day. There's just not enough people going around the world. Jonathan Kennedy, I will be doing a day in the life video very soon. I have like all of these ideas. I just got all these ideas of things that I wanted to film. And I'm even going to film me coloring my sister's hair. Like if you guys want to see that, how I color and cut hair, totally would love to show that to you. Um, my sister was like, Chelsea, you should film it and we can put it on your channel. I was like, okay. Um, so yes, I am going to be doing a day in my life video. I was planning on like taking my camera to school tomorrow and filming that. Um, so I can just like start uploading more frequently and having like more videos for you guys. So yes, Jonathan Kennedy, I will be doing that. Thank you for the advice. Um, Quirky Blossom said, is everything paid for, for your caper trip? Okay. So she asked stuff about caper. Um, which I will talk about in my next video. So I'll talk about how I get there, stuff that was paid for and all of that and go over my experience and show you guys fun clips and stuff that I took. Um, what location do you attend? I mean, I accidentally <laughs> said in one of the videos, I don't know if you guys caught on, but I am at the Tampa school. I don't live in Tampa, but yes, I go to the Tampa school. And um, so that's why we have the makeup program. Yes, there are people that are older than 30 and 40 at my school. Sorry, I'm like reading the questions as we go. Um, one of my really good friends, Melissa, is like a mom with two kids. And she's like, her kids are like 16 and stuff. So, yeah, there's definitely people that are older there. They're great. Um, it's so much fun. And what are the requirements for Dean's List? Okay, so once you're a student, you can go on to Paul Mitchell Plugged In. And there's like this education tab. And it tells you everything about honors, Dean's List, clubs, everything like that. You can have handouts, print things out. It's literally incredible. Um, for Dean's List, right off the top of my head, I will tell you, you have to do color honors, cutting honors, oh my gosh, texture honors, you have to enter Beacon and Naha, you have to have like a good attitude, you have to be a part of two clubs, I think it's like student council, be nice, design team, um, you have to help facilitate a fundraising event, you have to read the Be Nice or Else book, you have to make above 90s on all of your theory tests, you have to keep a certain like attendance like it's a lot um but there's a list and they will go over it with you in your core class that's one of the requirements on the dean's list so they will go over it with you sometime in core um then kyle said is there a uniform and what's in your makeup kit so yes there's a uniform at paul mitchell you wear all black everything from head to toe your accessories can be like gold or silver um sometimes like i wear like a brown fossil watch and nobody says anything to me um so just do that and then um once you're in phase two you can add white onto that but that's about it everything's black you you'll see what I wear to school it's literally gonna be a video of like here's this black shirt and this black shirt but it's fine it'll be great 
What's in your makeup kit? Okay, so here's a story about this. I filmed this video and when I went to edit it, number one, it just was weird. My sisters were in the room and I was filming it so I felt incredibly awkward. And then like I brought my makeup kit to school and every time I go to film it, I don't have it. So it is on my to-do list. Um, basically, I'll just go over it real quick. I get, you get five foundations, like six powders, uh, two eyeshadow palettes, um, a lipstick palette, whole bunch of lipsticks and lip glosses, like eyeliners, like some brow wax, mascara, and a blush, something like that. Um, that's basically it, but I'll show you like swatches and stuff when I bring my kit home, but I just like have it at school because I never know. So it's like I have to remember one day, oh yeah, I need to bring it home and bring it back. So I'm sorry. Um, then Lori, oh, she asked this quite another question. I'm sorry, I really like butchered your name. Um, with the smiley face like can you focus camera no right there no you're not gonna focus okay well she said can you use your own styling tools other than what's provided by Paul Mitchell so the rule is when you're on the floor you have to use some black and Paul Mitchell products um depending on your school and how like strict they are in that you kind of feel out when you're there i haven't bought any other tools simply because number one i don't want to i love all the tools that i've been given and i can do everything that i need to with the tools they've given me um the other the only thing that i would consider buying would maybe would be like the unclipped like the wands um but i have like a black one that if i really wanted to bring i would but then also the school lets you like borrow there so i mean I've seen other people bring some things and use them, but there's honestly really no need to. So if you feel like you want to bring something else, I would just talk to um, the learning leaders and stuff about it and see what they say. Abby Hopkins asks, do you learn coloring techniques like balayage or ombre in class, or do you kind of have to learn and adapt as you go? So this was kind of like a weird predicament um, with my core class. When we were in protege, like the protege class before us learned like balayage and ombre. And then my class was told we couldn't do it. And then the class after me learned it. So it was like, it was really weird. Um, to be honest, I have watched a lot of videos on YouTube seeing different techniques that people do. So when I brought my sister in to do her hair and I did like this really pretty um, hand painted balayage thing, um, I kind of made it up on my own. And that is what I'm going to be doing with her hair. So if you guys want me to film that, I totally can. Um, they definitely have a system and a way of teaching you. But honestly, stuff like that, it's hand painting. It's you putting lightener where you want it. So I'm sure schools teach it in some way. Just when I brought in my guests, I kind of already had a game plan of what I wanted. I told my learning leader, hey, this is what I'm doing. And they're like, okay, it sounds good. And then I did it and it came out beautiful. Um, so yeah, they did teach some of us what to do. Sailor Donuts says, thank you for your videos. Well, thank you for commenting. I'm like, I just love it. Um, I was wondering if you had to write an essay or something to get accepted into Paul Mitchell. That's a great question. Um, so like in part of like the little intro packet, you had to like write an essay on why you wanted to go to cosmetology school or something like that. I remember it was just like stupid, like a one page thing. I don't even know if they read it. It's probably more of a like, let's get to know them type essay than it is like, let's grade them on their essay because it's a cosmetology school, not like a university. Well, like just an application with your name and stuff on it. Like it's nothing hard. Leanna Pillar, please forgive me for butchering your, like, I, I don't know how, I don't, I never learned phonics. This is stupid, but do you bring your lunch every day and are your teachers strict about phone use and eating in class? Okay, so I'm in a mall. So if I forget my lunch, it's okay because there's a food court, but that is expensive. So I really don't suggest doing it. I bring my lunch often. Today, actually, my mom packed me lunch. Thanks, mom. Um, but I would really suggest bringing your lunch. Number one, you're going to save money. Number two, you're going to save time. You, And it's healthier. Not that I'm a health nut or anything. Um, but some days I do, some days I don't. It's just honestly when I feel like getting ready in the morning. Um, and then, oh no, I lost it. Okay, and then your teacher strict about phone use. Yeah, like they will take away your phone. I have seen a teacher take away somebody's phone for using it in class. Um, if you have kids and if there's a situation that arises, all you honestly have to do, or even if it, you don't even have to have kids, if something's going on and you need your phone on you or out so you can see it, you just go to the learning leader, pull them aside and say, hey, listen, um, I'm having some 
thing come up. I need to have my phone with me because I might have to leave or I need to be getting, someone needs to get in contact with me. Totally fine. Like even if I've had a doctor that's needed to call me back, I've been like, hey, I'm waiting on a doctor's call. I'm going to keep my phone out. It's okay. It's fine. You get a phone call, excuse yourself and leave. Um, we're all adults here. So they're going to treat you like that if you give them the respect they deserve. Then Diamond DeVita, sorry, um, said, I love your videos. Thank you. Um, do you have to buy any extra hair and makeup products besides what's in your kit? Do you also have to pay in advance for doing the makeup po portion? Overall, your videos has helped me decide to go to Paul Mitchell. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. I love it. It's so exciting. I love Paul Mitchell. Um, do you have to buy any extra hair and makeup products? No, you do not have to in school. What they give you is everything that you need. Um, however, if this is going to be your career and this is going to be something that you want to further yourself, you're always going to be investing in it. Um, for instance, I just went to Caper and I bought a pair of shears. <sighs> They're expensive. I bought like a little holster. Um, and I'm constantly buying new clips, buying new capes, buying stuff like that, just so I can have these things and start kind of building a collection, um, buying round brushes, stuff like that, because I'm going to need an abundance of it when I'm in the salon. So for school, no, you don't really have to add anything to it. Same for makeup. If you're going to be going out and doing bridal or freelancing or stuff like that, then maybe you're going to want to buy some lashes and lash glue and add other stuff like that, tweezers to your kit, but it's really based on what you're going to use it for. So... For instance, I'm really loving color. I kind of want to specialize in that and go into that in the salon. So I'm going to invest in things like really nice color brushes and different color bowls and capes and clips and all of these things. Um, stuff for styling hair. You want different round brushes. Try this new brush. You can buy that as you go and you see what you need. But for school, no. They give you everything. So just wait until you find like, oh, it'd be cool to try this out and then get that. She Cheek said, congratulations on Caper. Can you please do a video? Yes, I will. Um, the different bags, I don't have any of those like in stock. I'll kind of show you um, what they had like online for us when I talk about that in the caper video. And yeah, so all of your questions, she cheek, I will answer in my next video, which will be the caper one because that is like, I'm so excited for it. You, I, I literally just got back. So I'll answer all of those. And then Carrie Crosby said, I'm starting Tuesday and really interested in honors. How does that system work? First off, congratulations for starting since it's been... A couple weeks since you posted um how does the honor system work so basically in core they're gonna give you like pamphlets of what well, Lisa gave us you can find them unplugged in of what is required to do honors literally it breaks it down core protege adaptive creative of things that you have to do basically you do the thing whatever it is it's like um create an SMA for a basic color take a picture or make like a like pull photos together, put it on a PowerPoint slide, show it to your color specialist, they sign and date it. And you do all of those things, get the, the specialist, the color cutting or texture specialist to sign it for each area. And then that's how you complete them. Um, there's a pamphlet, literally breaks it down by timeline. So you can just do them in order as far as you go on in your journey and boom, you can do it. But you don't have to follow it in that order. If you're in core and you guys are doing something that's on the thing for creative, then do it. Like just get the person to sign off on it. Um, Everything that you do in school is on the honors. So technically everybody does honors. It's just a matter of taking a picture and getting someone to sign it. So yes. Oh, and also for texture and cutting, you have to complete like all the diagrams for all of them. I know that stuff that's on there, but basically there's a list that tells you everything you have to do and you just have to get it signed. I've made my honors on my PowerPoint, so I just have everything there. If I have to take a picture of something, take a picture, put it on. Um, people are taking pictures of me like round brushing and stuff like that, so that's on there and it's all organized by the way it's set up on the paper so they can sign it and then I keep it with me. Um, so that's basically how that is. Honors is really, it's like a self-motivated thing. It's hard to do when you're in school, but then you get home and you're like, I want to do it. So just do it from the beginning, every single one of you. So that is all the questions. I am sorry that I have babbled on for so long, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I loved answering these questions. These are things that like I wouldn't have thought about saying, but like should have thought about saying. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for commenting and leaving your questions. This was so much fun. Um, I hope I answered everything. And I hope you guys are excited for the videos I'm going to be coming out with. I'm going to come out with the caper videos coming out next. I'm like 
I'm so pumped. I literally just got back like I'm in love. Caper videos next. We're gonna do a day in my life, wardrobe, maybe me coloring my sister's hair, cutting my sister's hair. What do you guys think about that? Leave comments below seeing if you want to see that stuff. Um, my journey is like coming to an end, but like I still want to stay connected with you guys and like talk about hair and like see where you guys are in your journey. So I'm just so excited. Um, if you want to follow me on like on my social media, it's at like this the insulate that's gonna like roll in a couple seconds, and then I'll list it in the down bar below so like you can see the stuff that I do in school and all the fun that me and my friends have. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you very shortly. Bye. Mm -hmm.